assalam alaikum dear students welcome to the new lecture in this lecture we are going to solve questions from the exercise 3c so let us start our lecture the question one states that priya evaluates 218 divided by 31 using a calculator and she says that the answer is 70.3 Without doing the actual calculation, use estimation to determine whether Priya's answer is reasonable. Then use a calculator to evaluate 218 divided by 31. Is your estimate value close to the actual value? So I have solved this question. You can see in this question we have to solve it by two methods. The first one method is the estimation method and the second method is the calculator method. The estimation method in estimation method first we have to round off these values. The first value was 218 and I have round off it to 220. 31 is round off to 30 the closest values and then uh, 220 is divided by this 30 and I get 7.33 on the other hand if we use calculator and divide the actual values we get 7.03 so we can conclude that Priya's answer is not reasonable however estimated method and actual calculation are quite reasonable you can see that estimated method was 7.33 calculator method shows 7.03 and what Priya was claiming was 70.3 so Priya's answer was wrong but the estimated method and the calculator method answers are quite reasonable in question number two estimate each of the following Without using a calculator again, we have to solve this uh, by the estimated method and by the calculator method. From the A part, the numbers are 2013 multiplied by 39. So we can we can round off this 213 to 2000 and this 39 to 40. And then multiply, we get this answer. On the other hand, we just multiply these two numbers and get this calculated value in the second part again we have to find out the 145.6 and root by calculator and then the cube root of 65.4 and then divide this we get the answer 2.99 whereas if we use the estimated values we can see that 145.6 is quite closer to 144 which is a square of 12 and 65.4 is quite closer to 64 which is a cube of 4 and if we simplify this value we get the answer 3 in question number 3 we have to express 3.612 and 29.87 correct to two significant figures so 3.612 all of these numbers are non-zero so all the numbers are significant and when we have to write only two so we write 3.6 and the next value was 29.87 the first two values are significant so 29 is significant and when we remove this 8 we have to add 1 to 29 that makes it 30 in the second part while using the answers from the first part estimate the value of 3.612 divided by 29.87 so because we have to estimate it so we round off it and 3.6 we have to divide this 3.6 on 30 and if we remove this decimal we have to write 10 over here and then we have to divide this 36 on 300 so it makes it 
0.12 so we can do this without calculator just by doing the estimation method which makes this calculation lot easier question number four states that a car travels 274 kilometer it travels an average speed of 9.1 kilometer on a liter of petrol write down a calculation you could do merely you could do sorry mentally to estimate the number of liters used so first of all we write the distance that the car has traveled that was 274 kilometer the petrol average that the the car was showing that 9.1 kilometer per liter and because we have to estimate so we have to round off these values 274 is quite nearer to 270 and and the petrol average was 9.1 so we can write it as 9 and then we divide this 270 on 9 and we get the estimated uh, total uh, fuel that was used was about 30 liter now in question number five they are showing us a figure and in this figure there are two regions one region is shaded region and the other region is unshaded region and they are saying us to estimate the ratio of the area of the shaded region to that of the unshaded regions in the figure so first of all we just divide this figure on uh, with the help of an imaginary line and just write that 50% of that figure is on our right and 50% on the left and then estimate that how much portion of this uh, figure was um, shaded region so we can see that third about 30% of the region is shaded and 20% is not unshaded so uh, we just add up this unshaded and shaded to get this ratio of 3 ratio 7 because we have to show the shaded to unshaded region uh, ratio in question number 6 they are saying us that a shopkeeper makes the following order for uh, for a from a wholesaler uh, there is the detail of this order and then they are saying us that show how you estimate the total amount of money that shopkeeper has to pay giving your answer correct to the nearest hundred dollars so we don't have to actually calculate the exact cost but we have to estimate the values just without using any calculator or without using any help so I have round off these values like for example the, the first item was skirts and there was 32 skirts so the round off value would be 30 the per unit cost was 18 and I have round off it to 20 and then we have to multiply we can easily multiply that 3 into 2 is 6 so it is about 600 dollars and same we have done with the belts white shirts black blouses and gray leggings and then add all these numbers to get that the total bill would be four thousand dollar so you can see that we have solved this question without using calculator just by estimating different values in question number seven they are saying that a bag cost 25 the conversion rate is 1 to 0 0.409608 without using calculator estimate the price of that bag in US dollars so first of all we have to write the cost of the bag and then the conversion rate and from the conversion rate it can be seen that one dollar is equal to 2.5 rm so uh, the total worth of the bag was 25 and if we divide it on the unit cost it is about 10 dollar
Another situation is given in the question number 8 where we have two options option A and option B and from these two options we have to find the better value of the money by just comparing the cost and the amount of that thing. In option A we can see that there is 300 gram jelly beans and the price is 5.80 in option 2 we can see that there is a, a little bit more amount that is 500 gram jelly beans and the cost is 9.90 now from the option a we can see that 300 gram jelly beans cost 5.80 which means that if we round off it 300 gram jelly beans is almost costing six dollars which means that if there would be three dollars there will be 150 gram and if there will be two dollars there will be 100 gram and for each dollar there is 50 gram jelly beans now as per the cost from the a option we will calculate the cost of the B so there was total 500 gram jelly beans which means that 300 gram plus 200 gram and the cost of 300 gram was six dollars so I have written six and for each 50 there is one so there are four fifties in 200 so there will be four dollars for 200 gram jelly beans so the total cost of the 500 gram jelly beans as per the rate of the option A would be $10 but they are claiming it to be $9.9 which means that the option B is more uh, better in terms of the value of the money from the from the question 9 they are saying that shop A sells address for 79.50 with a 20% discount whereas another shop is selling the same dress $69.50 with 10% discount so there are two shops for the same dress and the price of those two shops are different and the discount rate is also different and we have to compare that after discount which one is better want to purchase so uh, and we all have to just uh, estimate from the shop a we can see that it is 79.5 dollar which means it is almost 80 dollar and there is 20 percent discount so 20 percent discount means that for two dollar discount will be given on each ten dollars spent and because we are spending eighty dollars so it means that there will be total sixteen dollar discount and the price after the discount will be sixty four dollar and the, as per the offer by the shop B the cost was sixty nine point five zero dollar which is equivalent to almost seventy dollar and they are offering 10% discount and 10% discount means that for every $10 spent we will save $1 so as we are spending $70 so we will be able to save $7 and the price after the discount will be $63 so we can see that the first shop shop A is uh, uh, will is getting $64 for that shirt but from if we purchase it from the shop B we will get $63 so we can save $1 if we purchase the same shirt from the shop B in question number 10 they are saying that a handbag cost 26,700 Korean won the conversion rate is given and we have to calculate without using the estimated price of the handbag in dollar so the, I have written the price of the handbag that was 26,700 Korean won and then this rate and then I have just uh, estimate the values 
approximate them 26700 means that almost 27000 and 876.33 means almost 900 and then divide this 27000 by 900 and i get the answer 30 dollars so it's mean the price of that handbag will be 30 dollars if we calculate it in terms of dollars so uh, this is all from the exercise 3c i hope you would have understand if you have any question you can ask it in comment section please subscribe our channel for the more upcoming videos thanks for watching allah hafiz